And welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor. Alright, so this, this is heavily story driven. So as always, I'm going to narrate... Alright, let's do this. We have to kill like maybe an hour or so before he gets the thing repaired. So let's do this. So this is where we meet this um, this religious guy. Um, I guess you could say he's some sort of cultist. Um, I played through a few cha not a few chapters, but I played through a very good amount of the game on my 3DS. But let's get done. Let's get this done. Now, what should we do? Want to go watch a movie or do some karaoke? Oh no, I cannot sing. I'm sorry, I can't sing. I'd rather watch a I'd rather watch a movie. Let's go see. Let's go see Suicide Squad. That movie was pretty. It was okay. It's just that the Joker wasn't in it enough. Anyways. Atsuro might call us, so we should go somewhere with, with cell phone reception. Alright, so these are the these are the these are like the cultists here, okay? A man who appears to be uh, the leader is making a speech from a podium. So yeah, the reason you're about to see why I call them cultists. And lo, the smiting from God against the Tower of Babel returns. Oh jeez. What's with that bunch of weirdos? Oh no, they're going to play an important role in the plot. Now, along with our Shomankai, let us bring the world together. With the power of the internet, the world will be as once more. Yup. These guys are crazy. The power of the internet. Huh. Give me a break. Are you interested in this, Ragna? Nah. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. Their clothes are weird, too. Well, even I think it's great how the internet lets you connect with the world. But all this stuff about gods and bringing the world together? I don't know. Ugh, why are we even talking about this? Let's go somewhere else, Ragna. Tonight, and for the next three days, fellow members who believe in the power of the internet will gather in Tokyo. All are welcome to take part. So they it sounds like they sort of worship the... Well, I get... I think worship isn't the word for it, but it sounds like they kind of worship the internet. Maybe they see it as a, maybe somewhere with, with God. Like, I'm talking about the Christian God. Believe in his majesty and prepare for the ordeal. That is when we shall. The speech continues, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right. All right, let's kill time here. All right, Omat, Omat San Sando. The stores around here are really fashionable. They're all like so mature, you know. Yeah, I'd rather go to uh go to Best Buy or GameStops, you know, just look at some games. I used to go to ha um, Harajuku all the time, but I always wanted to fit in at um, Omatsando. Hey, do you think I stick out like a sore thumb here? No way, really. Thanks. Don't you think that um, Harajuku and, um, and Omot Sesando have different images? Omot Sesando feels more like um, feels more like Aoyama style than ha Harajuku's. Speaking of Aoyama, hey Ragna, what time is it now? It is 4.30. 4.30, huh? I was just thinking about that email in the comp. You know the one about someone being attacked by a car carnivorous beast? It said the attack happened in the Ao Aoyama area. It's around the right time, too. Oh no. At that moment, several police cars zoom zoom down the street, sirens wailing. They're heading towards Aoyama. <laughs> There's no way it could be true, right? Hey. Naoya's apartment is out is in Aoyama, right? Shouldn't we check it out? Let's go then. Yeah. I'm a little scared, but he should be okay. Let's go. Great, my phone my phone went off. Residential area. It seems the police were going to to the building that Al I mean that Nalia lives in after all. The scene is roped off by the police and a crowd of onlookers have gathered. Someone else who has just arrived approaches you. Oh my god. My phone, hold on. There we go. Now yeah. I'm surprised to see you, James. What are you doing here? Glad you're safe. Safe? Oh, you mean the incident in the building. 
Of course that's what we mean. What's going on anyways? That weird email you made us read made us all jumpy. I see. You're right. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to frighten you. The person who was eaten was was a student like your yourselves. He lived next door to me. He was eaten? No way! Is that what that email really said? Oh, God. But we got but we got the email before the incident happened, so Rodman, what does this all mean? Your thought process never ceases to amaze me. Usually one would suspect that the person the one who sent out the email carried out the murder. God. No wonder you're my cousin. I understand why the two of you came here, James. But our meeting here is an accident. We shouldn't be talking like this. Hurry and find Atsuro immediately. It's going to begin soon. Begin? What are you talking about? Naoya looks away, and he seems to have no intention of answering any more questions. There isn't much time left. Listen carefully to me, both of you. Do not turn away from what is about to happen. And do not be afraid to stand up against it. This is when the door of truth will open. Overcome your fate. Wait a second. He's gone. Something didn't seem right with him, huh? I wonder what's wrong. Alright, just then your cell phone rings. The caller ID says Atsuro. Alright, answer the phone. Yo, I figured out how to crack the encryption on those comps. I need yours so I can unlock them. Meet me in front of the Electric Museum in Shibuya. Hmm, why does he want... Why don't we meet up with Atsuro? I'm confused from everything that's happened so suddenly. Maybe Atsuro's figured something out on his end. Oh yeah, our first battle. Alright, let's do this. The Electric Museum is north of Shibuya, along with the Yamanote Line, east of Mie Miyashita Park. Yo, what took you guys so long? How far away did you go when we were killing time? We went to Naoya's place. Huh? You guys went to see Naoya? Oh yeah, well, Yuzu tells the, uh, Atsuro about what happened in Aoyama. She also mentioned what happened uh, matched the email you received and what Naoya said. Wait, what? Are you saying the email actually came true? Hmm. Anyway, if you ran into now yet, why didn't you call me? I had some stuff to ask him. Sorry, so much was going on that we kind of forgot you. Oh well, that's okay. Bringing it up now isn't going to change anything. So what's going on? Is what was written in that email actually coming true? Come on, there's no way the email can predict the future. Are you sure you didn't just fall for one of Naoya's pranks? Would he really do that? When you put it that way, well, now he's human too. He must have sent he must have a sense of humor. But someone really did get killed. The police were there. I can't believe they'd be part of his joke. Hmm, if now out now he was telling the truth, that email wasn't a warning, right? Unless someone really did predict the future, it's probably just a coincidence. There's more in the email. What do you mean? Oh yeah, it mentioned an explosion and a blackout too. If it really was predicting the future, it would be odd if those didn't happen. I mean, don't happen. Still, they seem pretty unlikely. What? But... Who cares, anyway? Once I crack these comps and look inside, it'll all make sense. Huh. I'm not convinced, but... Tell us what you figured out for now. You did figure something out, right, Yats? I mean, Atsuro? Yeah, well, I was completely fooled. I think Naoya knew I'd try to get inside of one myself. It seems three comps are always monitoring each other, so I can't crack one alone. See, the comps are com constantly transmitting certain signals to each other. Without that input, several parameters are set in such a way that makes it impossible. Ugh, I had enough with the explanation, just hurry up. Man, you never change. Anyway, I'm gonna unlock the systems, okay? Turn your comps on, okay? While waiting for Atsuro to finish, you look up and see someone who looks like Naoya. Although Shibuya is a popular area, the street is empty and he seems to stand out. His handsome face is expressionless, but gives a cold feeling. Okay, I'm done. I'm restarting the comps. Alright, here we go, guys. Communication player. Nothing is installed. Decryption confirmed. Booting program. 
Condition green. Demon summoning program is ready to boot. Booting demon summoning program. Peaceful days are over. Let's survive. Oh yeah, here we go. Whoa, monsters came out of those cops? Oh, what is this? Ugh, I thought I was gonna be suffocating there. So this is the human world. Hmm. And these humans must be the ones who summoned me. We will fight then. If I win, I will have my freedom. Now let's go. Oh yes, here we go, guys. All right, so Shin, so hold on. Get ready. I'm not gonna let you guys go. So you have to die so I can get go free. So, um, oh my God, don't come any closer. Anyways, this game um, is an RP is a tactical RPG blending in uh, the turn-based genre. So like, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, it blend, like I said, it blends together the turn-based and tactical genre. And um, if you think about it, it's pretty. It's a pretty genius combination. I mean, like having to like move your units around the map and then like having them fight each other in a turn-based affair. It's pretty good. All right, so he's gonna fight Atsudo. What are you? Alrighty. Oh, he gets an extra turn. And my audio's messing up. He... Alright, so he doesn't have any special abilities for this turn. I mean, he doesn't have Dia. Because if there's one thing that... If there's one thing I hate is when an enemy is on low health and they cast Dia. And Dia is a healing spell that gives back a lot of health. Alright. Fight me, humans! Yeah, fight me, IRL. Alright, he's gotten the critical... Be careful, Ragna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good God. Wow. Oh, no, it's his turn. Okay. So I don't get an extra turn. Now, the difficulty of these games is actually pretty balanced, if you ask me. I mean, like, it's not too hard and it's not too easy. That's what I love. All right, I know how to play. There we go. Alright, so the first attack should take him out easily, and I think Kobold's going to be signed to me. Alright, so I got 23 XP. Leveled up, so I'm going to level up Magic. So these are the stats. This is Strength, this is Magic, I believe this is Vitality, and this is Agility. Alright. Alright, he's dead. I kind of wanted um the I wanted the pixie. All right, we're gonna move. I swear, if that pixie heals herself. All right, eight damage. All right, she's gonna heal herself after this fight. I know it. Actually no, um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna steal it. Actually, in my first um, in my first playthrough of this game, um, I actually got um, Yuzu. She took the pixie. All right, so Atsuro got the cat. All right, vitality, nice. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And make sure to. Like, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.